Now, despite not making much of progress, diplomats have called the initial talks as useful and frank. The two sides largely spent their eight hours of talks presenting their points of view on the current situation in Ukraine. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister said that the first round of talks did not make any progress and the questions on Ukraine's possible membership of NATO continues to remain the top focus. Listen in. I don't think you will expect me saying otherwise than uh, to confirm that this is one's member of NATO. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman said U.S. has offered to make reciprocal moves with Russia to de-escalate tensions but also renewed warnings of major costs if Moscow invaded Ukraine. Now, as U.S. and Russia remain far apart in talks aimed at diffusing tensions, while Pentagon remains concerned over the presence of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border. What I can tell you with confidence is we have not seen um, any. Now, the talks in Geneva were the first of three sets of talks taking place this week. There will be Russian consultations with NATO in Brussels on Wednesday and discussions in Vienna with Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, or OSCE, a day later. United States and NATO have jointly rejected Moscow's demand of banning Ukraine from entering the bloc. Moscow has laid out a detailed list of security guarantees, which also includes a demand that NATO gives up military activity in Eastern Europe and Ukraine. Russia's military buildup along the Ukraine border has sparked concerns of a possible military escalation between Russia and Ukraine. Russia, however, has denied claims of any invasion plans on Ukraine. Готов!